NASA is celebrating one year of photographs from its James Webb Space Telescope with a new up-close view of dozens of baby stars. It is hard to even grasp the power of this technology, capturing sites that are nearly 390 light years away. To try to put that in perspective, <laughs> just one light year is nearly 6 trillion miles. <laughs> Meteorologist Candace Campos touched base with a NASA scientist who's been working on this project. Yeah, it's pretty far, right, Bridget? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's big biggest, most ambitious telescope that was sent into space on Christmas morning in 2021. And during his first year, it has gifted us phenomenal images of the universe never seen before. One of the most surprising discoveries we've made already in just this first year, the early data that we've gotten, um, are the detailed looks at these very early galaxies. So this is a part of space that we had never been able to see before. Again, looking back in time over 13 and a half billion years. And these very early galaxies that we're seeing, there's more of them than we expected. They're bigger, they're brighter than we expected. So this um, anniversary image, so I'm gonna pop this image up on the screen. What are we even looking at? So this is a stellar nursery. This is a place in space that's filled with cosmic dust where baby stars are being born. And so you can sort of see an evidence, evidence of that in the, the lower part of the image, you see a bright star and how it's sort of carved out the space around it with its vast stellar winds and radiation that's blasting off of these newborn stars. And so images like this give us a new view of this process of how stars are born. They all look like artwork, to be honest. I mean, you could blow those up and put them anywhere in your home and it'd be a conversation piece, I feel, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And that's one of the great things about these images is they're, they're not just for the astronomers, you know, they're for all of us. They're universally appealing, no pun intended, uh, but we can all appreciate the beauty of these images. And I believe, you know, for me, the images from Hubble were one of the things that got me interested in astronomy when I was a kid. And so I hope that they're an inspiration for the youth in the country today that the universe is beautiful and you can study it, you can learn about it. And I asked her, you know, what, what, have you guys learned anything new? And she says actually that they've learned so much. They're actually rethinking some of their theories on how stars form and how mm -hmm. galaxies even got their start. So mm -hmm. they're, you know, it's a, they call it a kind of a time machine because by the time that light gets to the telescope, it's been, you know, millions of years ago. So you're kind of looking back into history in a really yeah, weird way. it's mind-blowing. It really is. <laughs> Those images are stunning, though, I know. always. It's always exciting when we get new mm -hmm. images. And you can, you can download them if you go to their website. You can download them. You can print them. You can put them up in your room if you have kids who are really into oh, space yeah. and stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, how cool would it be to kind of put up mm -hmm. those, those amazing shots there? Well, to get a second look at, again, those magnificent, magnificent photos and learn more about the telescope's journey to deep space, we have that link there on clickorlando.com. You'll find it right there on the homepage.